So you can listen to this practice wherever it is you find yourself today. You can be sitting down or laying down or even stretching and doing things if that's what you got to do. And just hopefully wherever you're at when you listen, it will still be helpful to you in some way. So if you would prefer to listen to this in a still position, just feel free to take all the time you need to arrive there and let yourself fidget, adjust, stretch or move in whatever ways your body wants to. Doing your best to not think about the movements, but more letting your body move you in the ways that intuitively feel good in your bones, muscles, joints. Maybe some neck rolls feel good or some cat-cow motions with the spine some torso twists or side body bends. Or maybe taking a nice big morning stretch feels good, reaching the arms up overhead and just getting that space between your hip bones and the bottom of your rib cage, getting that space nice and long, giving your organs lots of space to breathe. So you can continue to move even throughout this practice. If you need to move at any point, you may do so. But if you're feeling ready to come to a still position, and if you haven't already, then you may make your way there. Just feeling that the spine is nice and straight in whatever position you've chosen. And if you're in a space where you feel safe and would like to, you can allow the eyes to gently close at any time if they aren't already. And now mark your arrival into your practice today, into your body today, with a full, intentional cleansing breath. As you welcome in a long and slow inhale in through the nose and just watch yourself fill up to every corner and edge of you. As you just hold that for a moment once you're full, to really sit in that sense of fullness. And without straining as you need to, slowly let all of that go. Exhaling bit by bit as you gently pull the navel toward the spine at the bottom of your exhale to really push that last bit of stagnant air out of you. As you again pause for a moment to now sit in this sense of emptiness as you allow your next breath to come to you as it's needed. And so you can breathe just like this for as many rounds as feels good and helpful to you. Not worrying about the length of your inhales, exhales, and pauses on either side, but just letting the four parts of your breath be exaggerated, whatever that means for you right now. So when the body would naturally stop inhaling, seeing if you can open yourself up to take in a little bit more air than usual, getting a little bit fuller. And when you would naturally roll over to the exhale, seeing if you can hold off on that for an extra moment to stay in that fullness a bit more intentionally. And then as you exhale, when you think you're empty, seeing if you can push out a tiny bit more air to truly empty yourself. And again, holding off on the inhale for an extra moment to stay in that emptiness more intentionally and allowing the breath to come as it's needed. And again, you can continue to breathe like this for as long as you'd like to, for as long as it feels good and helpful in your body. But at any point, if you haven't already, you may release this guidance over your breath altogether and allow yourself to come into that role of the observer or the witness. 
as you release the voluntary guidance over the breath. And now you simply observe the automatic process that is your body breathing. Allowing your body to breathe you as you just watch the process. The same way you would watch any other force of nature out there. Not trying to change anything about what you are witnessing, but simply witnessing it. Seeing your body just as you would see any other force of nature. Remembering that you are indeed a force of nature. Remembering how there's nothing in particular you are doing to make your heart beat. But your heart is constantly beating, constantly feeding life into you. And that this is a pure gift of this life that we all have. And seeing if you can gradually let more and more of your awareness come to rest on your heart or in your heart. And really tune in to this unique rhythm that is your beating heart. The steady background beat to every single moment of your life from before you were even breathing air from the time you were in your mother's womb up to this exact moment. And this heart will continue to beat and work for you for as long as you are in this body. Remembering the pure gift that this truly is. And making note of any tension that you feel gathering in the face. Maybe any expression that's resting on the face. Making note of any emotions that could be communicated by this resting expression. And then choosing to allow your face to soften. Feeling your jaw just hang into place as your tongue releases from the roof of the mouth. Allowing your lips to rest softly on one another. As you feel this softness in the mouth naturally release more tension in your chin, in the nostrils, in the cheeks, in the ears. In the eyes, in the eyebrows, even the eyelids. Feeling the hairline soften back as your forehead gets a little bit wider and a little bit deeper. Simply with this release of tension. Maybe feeling a sense that all of the muscles in the face are just ungripping from the bones. And releasing back into the support of your skin. Remembering to trust your own anatomy and that you do not need to be doing anything specific right now. You do not need to hold yourself in any specific way. But trusting that when you let go, everything will be held exactly where it needs to be without any of your doing. 
This is not a doing or a thinking process. But this is a process of listening and observing. It's also one of trusting. Trusting your own body. Observing all of the processes within your body that is constantly working to keep you alive. And just reminding yourself of that gift And as you tune back into your own heart, you can remind yourself that this heart is your own direct line of connection to whatever source or force lets our hearts beat. Whatever you believe that to be, whatever source or force you believe all of life comes from, This heart is your connection to that, simply because you are alive. And this heart is pumping that life into you. And so you never need anyone else to translate or to facilitate that connection. But you have your own personal line of connection through your own body. You are an extension of that life simply because you are alive. So you, of course, are connected to the source that all of life comes from for as long as you are alive. To that infinite supply of love and life. And this heart is also directly connected to every inch of your body. If you take a moment to just imagine all the pathways of veins and vessels that connect your heart to every inch of your body, to the tips of your toes, to the tips of your fingers, to the tip of your head, and every inch in between. Your heart is pumping life throughout your entire body. And your body has the power to heal through the life and love that is in your heart, through the blood that is rushing through your body. If you imagine a time when you've maybe gotten a small cut or a scrape and how your body does heal itself, it does mend the wound all on its own. And at the same time, there are things that you can do to help aid that process through ointments, band-aids. You can Be a participant in that healing process. And your emotional healing is the same way. You will heal. There are things that you can do that will make it a longer process or things that will make it a bit quicker. And practices like this one is something that can just help you to be an active participant in your healing, whatever, in whatever realm your healing is in, whether that be physical, mental, emotional, psychological, spiritual, any other form. Just by showing up for yourself, observing yourself exactly as you are. softening your body, softening your muscles physically 
into what you find. And so even if there is intense physical pain present in the body right now, you can notice those urges to run away from it, to distract away from it. And seeing if just for a moment you can fight that urge and instead do the opposite and look directly at it. Feel it fully. And let go of that extra layer of pain that we all put on ourselves. That extra layer of resistance to what is. The constant voices saying, I don't want to feel this way. I wish I was feeling different. The constant voices that are trying to bring you somewhere else than where you are. And even if it's just for a split second, seeing if you can let yourself be where you are, fully. Pain and all. Knowing that absolutely everything in this life is temporary. Change is the only thing we can count on. And so it is safe for you to feel what you are feeling because it will change. And you can allow your emotions and your physical sensations to arise from within you and release in whatever way they need to be released rather than shoving them back down deeper where they will only echo louder and control you more insidiously. Making note of, again, any resting expression on the face, any expressions that have crept back, maybe in the forehead or eyebrows or the jaw. And just once again, remind your body to physically soften. Remind your pelvic floor to lengthen and to widen. To relax your feet and your hands. And just allow your muscles to roll off of the bones. To fully release into the support of the skin. And just continue to feel whatever is here for you to feel. As you listen to the following words, that are written by young Pueblo in his book, Inward. And just allow anything that feels like it resonates with you to soak in a little bit deeper and not worrying about the rest. Being honest with yourself is an act of self-love. Self-love is creating space in your life to heal your body and mind. But do not confuse self-love with thinking that you're better than everyone else. True self-love is accepting yourself for all that you are, especially the darkest parts. Self-love begins with the acceptance of where we are now and the history we carry, but it does not stop there. Self-love is an energy we use for our own personal evolution. It is a meeting and balance of two critically important ideas. Loving who we currently are and simultaneously transforming into the ideal version of ourselves. Though these ideas may seem contradictory, they are both required for our ultimate success. Without acceptance, 
our transformation into a happier and freer self would be highly difficult because it is much harder to change and let go of what we hate. Self-love helps us delve deeply into ourselves and release the patterns in our subconscious that impact our behavior and emotions. True self-love is when one understands that the inward journey is the path to freedom. That observing and releasing our inner burdens is what will make us feel lighter and more aware. Self-love does not grow the ego. It does the opposite. It is our ego that carries the craving that causes our suffering. The incessant craving that rests at the center of the ego is the ultimate block that stops us from achieving freedom. Since true self-love is the gateway to unconditional love for all beings, this must mean that many people in our world are suffering from a lack of self-love, the missing piece. Your self-love is a medicine for the earth. As your self-love grows stronger, so do the waves of change that you can create. The beauty of self-love is that it can grow into the unconditional love that can end all harm. With self-love, we have the determination and courage to move deeply inward using honesty as our guide. This inward movement transforms our being, dramatically enhancing our awareness of who we are, our understanding of the universe, and our capabilities as individuals. A beautiful result of this process is that our new sense of compassion towards ourself does not end with us. It blossoms and flows outwards into the lives of others and has the capacity, if consistently cultivated, to encompass all beings. This growing compassion becomes the centerpiece, an active component of a love that knows no limits. Unconditional love for ourselves and others completely respects our sovereignty as individuals and honors our power by no longer allowing ourselves to be harmed by anyone. This limitless love also gives us new grace and clarity that help us see ourselves in all other beings and better understand where they are coming from. It gives us the strength to treat all with kindness and support all in living lives in which they are no longer harmed. Unconditional love can bring balance to our world. The clarity it produces can help us better understand the roots of harm and work to eliminate them so that all can have the external freedom needed to work on their own internal liberation. The greed and reactiveness that cause harm can be replaced with love as the primary motivator and responses of kindness as our principal form of action. To create this shift in our world, Many will have to heal themselves deeply by doing their inner work, releasing burdens within themselves, and creating enough space so that their own self-love can breathe deeply and expand into unconditional love. As more expand into this field of greater egolessness, the world will shift with us and be significantly relieved of the greed that sits at the center of the imbalance we currently experience. Our love as a humanity does not need to be perfectly unconditional to change the world. Every time our collective love grows, it creates a better future.
can just take the next few moments to allow all the words you've heard today to settle. If you imagine that each word you've heard was a little speck of glitter in a snow globe. And now is the time where we set the snow globe down and allow the air to clear. And trusting that anything at all that you heard today that resonated with you or felt helpful in some way, trusting that that feeling can sometimes come when we hear on the outside what a part of us already knows to be true on the inside. And so just allowing those truths to be enhanced within you so that you feel a little bit more confidence to act on your own intuition. So if it feels like something you'd like to do today, you can let your hands come and find each other in a prayer position toward heart center. As you just feel this contact of your palms and fingertips to one another. And allow your heart to lift toward your thumbs as your thumbs press back toward the heart. As you tune in once again to all of this life that is being pumped through you, tuning into your own heartbeat. I'm just taking a final deep, full breath into the body, filling up to every corner and edge of you the most you have today. And as you exhale, letting go of anything you're ready to let go of, as you allow the head to gently bow. And you take this moment to bow to the source of energy that allows all of our hearts to beat, whatever you believe that to be. And bowing to everyone else in this space who has listened and completed this practice right alongside you. And finally, bowing to yourself for choosing to show up today and taking the time out of your busy life for this pure act of self-love and self-care. May this act continue to heal you through the rest of your days and nights. And may you bring the same love and understanding to everything you do and to everyone that you see. Thank you.